No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. <laughs> For God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Screw both of you. She killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer. But I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Whatever happened before, AJ shouldn't have killed Marlin. Yeah, he wasn't hurting anybody when I killed him. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. We take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. on well he told me she was back but i was like no way violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided Shh. would you keep it down the little boy is asleep his fever's already going down clem he's gonna be okay great we're just giving them our medicine too mitch those raiders are getting ready to attack the school we need clem's help like hell we do for all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! 
Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. Guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? Or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts. But they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. You first, Mitch. No. See, because the people back home want me to survive this little trip. Let's just get the stuff we need, okay? Just go. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens.
Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Remember, right? There's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Okay, let's see what's inside. She. Miss Martin, our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God, she looks. You can barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. She's not human. She's a walker. God, is it really that easy for you to just forget who they were? Well, it isn't for me. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here.
Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. Fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No! Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. We should burn her. Look, she's been like that for a long time. She's not a person anymore. Stupid. We've all seen people die. Can't fall apart over everyone. It's better, you know, to get it over with. You get all caught up in who people used to be and you can't deal with what's in front of you. I'll tell everyone when we get back that I changed my mind. We need you. Thanks. Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. Ah. Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. Maybe I should go get Ruby. If you're feeling sick again, she should take a look at you. No, Clem, you're not listening to me. Well, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you want to go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What are we playing? Truth or Dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Marry, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. Ruby. <laughs> but, sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. 
You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. That feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. I'll say that one's Ruby. She's reliable. Sweeter than she lets on, but can be harsh, too. Okay, one more time. Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. Clam, you out here? I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns. And carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no! Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. Thank <laughs> you. 